Sorry to interrupt. Yeah. Hey there. Hey, how you doing, Ryan? Good. Nice to meet you, Stu. How are hey, you? Hey, you know what? Uh, th the only thing I got to say to you is this was great setting this up with Aviation Jim, but I had to meet this guy right here. <laughs> <laughs> how you doing, Ryan? I'm pretty good. How you doing? You told me I had to meet Travis. I might have uh, made it 360 and taken off. No, I'm so glad we ambushed you. This is how we do things over here at Aviation Gen. Yeah. Um, You're in good anyway, hands. So am I. We're excited. You know, uh, I was talking to Blake, uh, my daughter, who heads up our wine business at Stu Leonard's. And she said we sold over a thousand bottles of Aviation Gen this past year. Oh, that's amazing. I love that. I love that. Thank you for all the support. It's uh, honestly, it means the world to me. This thing is is one of it's my fourth child basically yeah. uh don't don't tell my wife we just did a tasting with travis here this beautiful nickel city martyr for work we gotta fast, check man. this place out it's great but we just I've watched him on his i've watched every video he's made i mean it's uh they're un, unreal they're, it's it's I, I i i wish he could just hand drinks through the zoom thing i don't know what the hell scientists are doing all day why don't we have this technology yet uh, it's, but, but you know, what's cool, even in our business, it's always neat to meet a real pro and not only is he successful restaurant tour, but he's like a really expert mixologist. He, he ran the, uh, the cocktail program for four seasons. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So he's been around the block here. We just did a gin tasting blind. Okay. We, we had yours and aviation and we also had some of the other popular brands they have out there. And like this, we picked yours the best. Yeah, it. I, you know, I don't, it's it's so everyone assumes when somebody's pitching something or saying they love something that they own, you, you know, you assume it's kind of hyperbole or whatever. I, it really, well, I tried it when I was just a customer and that's the way I kind of look at anything that I, any business that I get involved in, I look at it through the lens of the customer and I fell in love with every aspect of this gin and became obsessed with it and eventually sort of, horned my way into an ownership role, but um, it really is the goods. It's got, I mean, it's- Hey, hey do you feel any competitive pressure from Snoop Dogg? <laughs> no, no, I, I, I love that guy. I want to watch him kill. I want you to do it. He's, <laughs> he's doing great. So I don't, I, yeah, maybe gin and juice probably wouldn't be as popular without Snoop, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, you want to, let's, I hear you love the drones, right? I love Negronis. I also just, I mean, I love watching you guys do this. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to actually watch you dive into this because I am actually, a, for somebody who owns a gin company, a pretty terrible mixologist. So I always drink, I always, I just love my gin, gin and soda with a little bit of orange or sometimes a little bit of lime. But when somebody makes a Negroni, mm, that is, that's, that's okay, it for me. We've got the expert right here. So take it away, Jeff. I mean, Steve, you're going to be an expert after this. I promise you that. So, yeah, we're going to make uh, the classic drink of Negroni. Ryan Reynolds' his favorite drink. Uh, and part of the reason he fell in love with uh, aviation gin. So it's a really easy, uh, equal parts cocktail. We're going to start off with uh, one ounce of Capar. Mm. Okay. One ounce of Capar. I love Capar. We used to drink this after the wine show in Italy all the time with the winemakers. Oh, really? Just on the rock, straight up, every night, big hit. The Italian winemakers love this stuff. I think it's been around for about six billion years, too, hasn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's official. It's, it's supposed yeah, to be official. really healthy, all the aromatics, and it's supposed to really Great. Make you look younger and all that. I mean, I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> Yeah. Then we're going to do uh, one ounce or one part of uh, sweet vermouth. Okay. And then you got this guy right here, the number one selling American gin in the world, and obviously best tasting. And boom, hey. the, the fountain of youth a little bit as well. Hey, you know what's yeah. really nice about this too is I was talking to. Some of our people at Stu Leonard, Jessica, by the way, helps set this up. I want to thank her. But um, this is like about $10 less than the other gyms that we have on the shelf. Yeah, it's crazy. It's not, yeah, it's really, really well priced, which is, yeah. you know, I, that also, I had nothing to do with that. I was, I just <laughs> like the gin. I didn't care about It's like, I want to own this company. Whoever, whoever you have making the pricing decision, tell them that's a good yeah. one. 
Smart. I agree. I couldn't agree. No, because you've got to be competitive uh, on price like that. And yeah. the nice that you're making this right in uh, in the United States and in, in Oregon, right? Yeah, in Portland. Yeah, it's a Portland. Uh, sort of have a little bit of that Tito's uh, feel there that it's a, an American product. Which is yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, that's that's where something we're really proud of. One ounce of this American gin variation. Hey, you know what? He's doing one ounce. I might do a little more. I was gonna say, Travis, that one ounce. I yeah, sure. We gotta, we gotta get some more bottles out of here. That's yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh my God, my mouth is watering right now. This is not fair. Yeah, we gotta go. This is cool. I've never really worked at bars. Right I mean, listen, it's, you know, there's a labor shortage in the bar industry. Uh, expect a report for your shift at five o'clock today. <laughs> it's pretty loose on the uh, loose on the, uh, on the, on the dress. Hey, if I was here, I like it. <laughs> oh, ah. Oh. Okay, wow. okay, Travis, wow. get get down to UPS right now and get that to me and deliver oh, that to my face. Mind. I'll send it your way, please. Hey, how do you like that? He told me how to do this the right way. This is why I need to come down and see you guys so I can learn these little these little black belt mixology moves. Okay, now, hey, um, we were talking about this earlier. We got a special treat for you to show you how much we love this gin, okay? Now, what is it? Noontime or something? Yeah, it's around 1220. Right? Here you go, Jack. Ah. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> you, know, at <laughs> you guys are gonna have a great rest of your day, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I don't have to work today. I'm all set up that I do. <laughs> that is awesome. I bet you're gonna be just fine. I bet you could do this in your sleep and dizzy, Travis. You're you you're <laughs> I've seen your work. Great guy. So pumped up and you know, in my career, you know, I've met a lot of people in the food and wine and business and you can always tell when someone's fluffing something up or whether they're the real deal. Yeah. This guy's the real deal. One hundred percent. He really and, is. And talented he loves and the business. Talented as hell, but also you're a good person, which is, you know, that counts these days. That counts these days, Travis. Don't try to deflect it. I try, you know, I got a couple talents being a good guy and chugging the grubbies and yeah. teaching people how to make them with my talents. Yeah, right? Not a bad living. Hey, hey, congratulations on the uh, Aviation Gen. Super grateful to your entire team at Stu Leonard's and, and everyone involved. Travis, as always, I'm like, uh, bow down to your, uh, uh, your, your talent, skill, and, and hard work. And, you know, I, uh, I hope I can come down there and, and meet you guys in person. Uh, this was so much fun hanging out with you guys. I, I'm, yeah. I'm actually going to go in the other room and attempt to make this Negroni, Travis, by the way. Um, hey, you why not? You and, 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 and I so, so appreciate you guys taking the time. I can't wait to get down there in person. And I, you know, next time I'm in Stu I'm taking a little snap of myself when I'm there and I'll, I'll send it over to you. And I wish I got to meet Chase and Blake. I see that they're on, but say hello to them for me when when you see them well listen you're a great guy down to earth cool and i hope i get to have a baloney with you one day i'm looking forward to it definitely thanks hey, guys thanks bye so everybody much. okay take it easy yeah baby